I don't want to do it. No, I, I, I don't want to do it. But they're going to make me, aren't they? They're just not going to stop sending messages until I do this, are they? Ugh, all right. Let's get this over with. First thing they want you to do is enter a name. I'm going to try a good old standby there. And it's being used. All right, so let's try Micaiah. Nope. I finally do get a name to work, and I can pick how my character looks. There's basically three choices in each category, which means most of the starting characters are going to look the same. They dump you off on a starter beginner's island, and when I say beginner, everything's spelled out for you. I guess this game is made for ten-year-olds. They call this game a fantasy platformer, so it's got some jumping and some fighting, and you get to change your armor and stats. But really it just comes down to whacking characters on the head until you can get to a certain level where you can leave the starter island. Hey, isn't that the kid from Resident Evil 4? Oh well. When I get to the mainland, you see the map has greatly expanded and there's a couple different cities. Each one is a hub for a certain job type. My goal is to head off to the new job, the fifth one, the pirate. I'm gonna go ahead and allocate some points, but you have to be careful, because each job requires a different amount of points. The world is colorful and cartoony, and... Hey, wait a second. This place looks familiar. <sighs> We've been at this for hours. We've got to have enough by now. Okay, um, well, let's see. One... Two... Three... So I think I made my point with my last three films. You're gonna spend a lot of time in this game running around and killing things. A lot of things. The rest of your time you're gonna spend in cities. Each one looks a little different. This one happens to be the Archer City I'm passing through on my way. And it's got a lot of people in it as well as... Uh, 7-Eleven. That wasn't there last time I played. Oh well. I finally get my way over to the pirates, at least the flag tells me I'm getting in the right direction, and when I finally get to the pirate leader, she gives me a quest to become a pirate. Basically she wants me to go ahead and kill 12 pigs for her. Sounds about right, I'll go ahead and do that. I've earned some basic pirate abilities, including a jump kick, as well as a double dash. When I go back to her, she tells me I did a good job, gives me some experience, and then asks me to go out and kill 24 pigs. Okay. Alright, so are you ready for it? As if you couldn't guess, when I finally completed that quest, she asked for 43 pigs! Now, this is going to upset the Maple fanboys, but in case you didn't realize, the quests in this game serve no purpose. They're just random things to do in between killing other things. You know, in a game like these, the quests guide you. They tell you where to go and basically keep you in the area where the leveled monsters you need to fight are. But in this game, that's not here, so if the quests aren't important, you're basically just down to fighting over and over and over and over. You know, I guess that'd be okay, but as you can see here, it's gonna get repetitive. The attacks don't work well, the enemies walk right through, and if this is a platformer, look at this jumping puzzle right here. No matter which way I go, I'm gonna get hit. I wanna feel angry at this point, but I simply can't. In fact, my real anger is at this. I am look like some sort of beggar. I have absolutely horrible clothes. If I want to look like anyone in this game, I'm going to have to buy their items, and there are a lot of them, in fact. You spend real money for things that they call, um, NX Cash, and each item in this store is a certain value. As you see, things like shirts, overalls, and shoes, they have made pages upon pages. In fact, the hats page has well over 16 pages of different hats. In this case, here's a weapon. It's a laser bow. Like some sort of weird freaking Jedi laser bow. This would be so sweet to have in a game, 
but I have to spend five dollars for it. This outfit right here, if you can believe it, this entire thing is twenty-five dollars. Real dollars. So I'm gonna jump a flying boat to get to a new area to show you. But if you can believe it, I'm gonna be sitting on this boat for 15 minutes. Minutes! And to make matters worse, none of the people on this boat actually believe I'm the guy who made those MapleStory films. If there's one good thing about MapleStory, it's the fact that they keep adding to the world. So from that island that I was just on, you can go further out into new and exciting worlds and beat the crap out of monsters. If there's one good thing about this game is the fact that Nexon is constantly updating it. In fact, it's probably the most updated free-to-play MMO online. The problem is, is that a lot of the updates are for things that are either for people who are level 200 already, yeah, 200, or you have to pay money for it. All in all, MapleStory is the same thing over and over and over. And to make things worse, to make the game enjoyable, they're going to charge you money for it. In my free-to-play review, I have to give that a 2 out of 5.